So we get asked a lot about staying in Spain and moving to Spain and would you pick a different area of Spain? Torre Vieja is a fantastic place, but this places like this has a downside. And it's not just Torre Vieja, let's put this out there. There's a lot of resorts up and down this coastline that suffer the same problems year in, year out, and have done since the 1960s, 70s and 80s. So it's half past one, Tuesday the 20th. So yes, it is the 20th of December. And Torre Vieja's dead. And it's only then once you walk around the empty streets that you actually start to see parts that no one else shows on YouTube. It's all nice when everyone shows you the nice sunny beaches and walking along the front, nice and busy. And... But is that reality of actually living in a place in the sun? Is that the reality of living in Spain? Many people just having a holiday home in the sun is, is suffice. And picking a holiday home in the right area is wonderful and picking a holiday home in the likes of Torre Vieja, Playa Flamenca, Lasagna, Villa Martin is fantastic and they're fa fantastic places to go on holiday but if you're looking to retire in Spain if you're looking to move here permanently there's one thing that you need to consider now there's a few things that you need to consider actually and I'm going to go into them in this video so one of them is the fact that in the winter time, it gets really quiet, extremely quiet. It is warm, yes, it is nice and warm, it is sunny, but I think the average age of everyone in Torre Vieja just now it must be about 65. So take from that what you will. Yes, it's a lovely place to, it is a lovely place to retire actually. I mean, both our parents have been here and they love it. But when you're of a certain age, you want something that's just a little bit more livelier. Now, for instance, this street in July, August, September, June, it's absolutely mobbed at this time of day. And yes, my throat is still hoarse. And as you can see, I can actually whisper walking down the street. None of the restaurants are set up. None of the restaurants are open. They're all closed for the winter. So the look of Torre Vieja is not only changing, but the demographics of Torre Vieja are changing. And we've seen a big change in the last year and a half that we've been here. When you're looking for somewhere to stay in Spain, whether you're looking to move over permanently or a holiday home, or if you're initially looking at a holiday home with the view to maybe retire out here, one thing to definitely look at 
in the area that you choose when you want to move to Spain is your long-term image of the Spain that you want to stay in. If you want to stay in the holiday resort type of place that's busy all year round, the likes of Tenerife, which does have that all year round climate and all year round holiday entertainment scene, maybe that's the type of place for you. You know, these places, these resorts do rely heavily on the tourism trade. The downside to it is when the tourists go, the bars and the restaurants close down and then the demographics change completely and it's a totally different place to what you think you're moving to. So given the chance that we had to do this all again, would we do it all again? Yes, most definitely. Where we will end up in Spain, we're not quite sure yet. But we do know is that we love Spain and we love the fact that we decided to move to Spain in 2020 in the middle of a global pandemic thanks to Brexit and Covid made us made the decision yes it is a lot harder to move to Spain now but take these things into consideration when you're thinking about moving to Spain think about location 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 like they say on the program everything is all about location but Sometimes the lifestyle and location that you're after might not be in the place in Spain that you think it is. So my advice to you or to anyone that's looking to buy a property in Spain is do your research first of all. My advice to anyone that was looking to move to Spain in the future would be renting that area first. Renting that area at different times of the year to see if it's what you're really looking for if it's the really quiet lifestyle that you are after during the winter months. Now, the property in Torrevieja just now, as you can see, there's a skip full of rubble. There is lots of apartments right now getting done up and there's another skip over the other side of the road. There's lots of work going on in Torrevieja just now. There's lots of cheap apartments being bought up. Will they go on for sale? Again, there's quite a few that have been reformed, done up, made to look new, and are back on the market quite soon. So are people jumping on the bandwagon with the new development down the harbour area that hopefully Torrevieja, again, one day, might be a booming holiday resort all year round. But maybe Torrevieja has always been this quiet at this time of year and we just didn't know it so when the sun goes down on the summer season and the winter season comes in the Christmas lights go on the fiestas start people disappear. Don't get me wrong, Torrevieja is a wonderful place to stay and we love staying here. We love staying in Spain. It was just to give you something to think about this December morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video, when you're longing to move to Spain full time. Or do you just move to Spain and have as a holiday home? On that note, I hope you've liked this video. Kind of strange video, this one. But yeah, see you in the next one. Hasta luego.